Hi guys, in this session we are going to discuss about object tagging. Tags are database objects in Snowflake. Tags enables us to track the sensitive data for compliance, data discovery and for data protection. These tags, they won't help directly to protect the sensitive data. But whereas these tags to track the objects which are holding sensitive data. Suppose think that you got a requirement to mask sensitive data in your objects, especially the data belongs to customer like first name, last name, email, phone number to be masked. So in that case, how do you proceed? So you will be checking based on the column names, F name, L name, email, you know, you need to search with the different uh, words. So it is time consuming and it is hectic as well. So that's where the tags are coming in picture. Basically tag is a schema level object. What it means like how your table and views are getting stored under the schema tag is also a low level object. You can create a tag under one schema and you can apply this to any other schema which is residing in different databases. And one more important thing is tag is inherited meaning once you assign a tag to the database it will be applied to corresponding schemas and the objects under that particular database. So Snowflake recommends defining tag as closely as possible to the object. Suppose think that I have the customer sensitive data in one of my table. So I need to assign tag to that particular table. Because if I because if I assign the tag to the database level, what happens? It will be inherited to key mass under that particular database as well as to the tables. This really confuses us. So that's why we need to apply the tag on the object which exactly holding the customer sensitive data. This is called tag lineage. Now the question is on what objects I can apply the tags? We can apply the tags on the following object on the account, storage integration, shares, warehouses, users, roles, and the databases as well as on the schema streams tasks pipes tables on the columns in the tables external tables views materialized views and you can specify the tags on the stages but we frequently use the tags to apply on to find the columns which exactly holding the customer sensitive data tags are not only useful to track the sensitive data in your databases this can be used for various purpose like resource usage calculations Okay, but in my example, I am taking customer sensitive data for tracking. What tag contain? Tag contain a name. Every tag will have a name. And each tag can contain one or more possible values. For example, my tag name is customer secure data. It have the values like customer first name, last name, phone, email, etc. Now we are going to see a demo and some useful SQLs. So first of all, let's start with how to create a tag. The syntax is this create or replace tag give your database name schema name and then give a name to your tag and this is optional allowed values for now i am not using it so i am removing allowed values because i don't want to use it now let's create this thing that i ran this query and tag got created okay now how to apply this tag to the database you can use alter database command alter database database name set then specify the tag and give some value here and make sure that this value reflect the data which this particular database is holding i am giving a name customer data it means this particular database has customer data since tag is inherited to the corresponding schemas under the database we don't need to use this command because this automatically happens. Now I want to apply this tag on one of my columns in a table. So this table has C name meaning customer name. That's why I need to make sure that this particular column is assigned with the tag. To do that I am using alter table command. Alter table table name modify column and then give the column name. Now set tag give the tag name and give meaningful value to the tag. So I'm giving here customer full name. Similarly, this table has customer phone number. Let's recall what we did in this session so far. We have created a tag. We have applied the tag to the database and we know that one of the table has some customer data. That's why we have applied this tag on those columns. Tag is same and it carries different values. Now, how do you find list of tags defined in your Snowflake database? So you can use this metadata query. Alternatively, we can use this query. Now you came to know that how to list the tags which are currently active in your Snowflake account. Now let's see how to get the tag value. So we have a system function that is called get tag. And inside that you define the tag name and the object name and the type of object. Okay. See customer data, meaning this particular table has customer data. 
and please remember here on a table we can define n number of tags we have a table function it gives us the list of tags which are defined on this given database let me run this query see on this database we have defined customer secure data tag if you have one more tag defined on this database you might have two rows similarly you can use schema name and then run your command so it means on this schema you have defined this tag on this table as well you will see the tag reference Okay, it is at the table level, but the lowest level is at the column level. I have so how to get lowest level objects? You can use this data dictionary table that is select star from snowflake dot account usage dot tag references where tag name is equal to give your tag name. Now run this command, you will see all the objects on which this tag is assigned. So there are three columns. Those are talking about customer data. Those are address c phone and c name for these three columns we have given tag values customer address customer contact and cust and customer full name respectively using this view you can get list of all the objects which are holding customer data and we have one more table function that is tag references with lineage so with lineage in the sense it includes inherited objects as well that's the only difference okay let me run this command since we have applied this tag at the database level, so you will see a record for every object which is under the given database. See this database has some masking policies, stages, sequences, procedures. To all these objects, this tag is assigned. But for us, we frequently use this view to get the list of objects which are referring particular tag. And here is a maxima that maximum number of tags in which a column is referred is 20. That's all in this session. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for subscribing this channel. Take care.